People keep asking us what this old thing weighs. I keep telling them it's glandular and I can't help it. Jokes aside, talking about Wanda. Today's the day we are going to try and get the old boy weighed. But first, some facts and figures on our bus. No matter what van that you have, it will have a weight limit and there will be certain places that you need to look to save weight or to have it in mind for your payload. At the back of our bus, under slung, we have a 180 litre water tank. So 180 litres is 180 kilos. So we're going to add on all of the ancillaries and stuff under there and probably say that it's around 200 kilos maybe a little bit more that we've just got underneath here on the other side we've got our underslung gas tank that's a 40 litre tank so we've got a fair bit of weight at the back here but we're going to fill it up so we've got an accurate view of what we're going to be carrying as that trickles up let me just talk you through some of the other things that are in our van so we have a full bathroom in our van including quite a heavy toilet as well as a fully lined bathroom shower rail and everything else that comes in between. We also have a pretty hefty electric system and all of our furniture is made from a mixture of birch plywood and poplar. We've got to take into account that everything that's in the vehicle as well so we've left as much stuff in here as we can that we would normally take away with us. Obviously we have fixed things in our garage and we carry lots of things in there too. First place you kind of need to look to figure out how heavy this could be maximum is on the plate on the side of your seat base so on mine because this is a 6140 the six denotes six tons or as it says on the side of the plate 5990 kilos is the maximum total weight that my van can be if you had an 814 it could be up to 7999 kilos or eight tons a few things to point out now our van is a heavy goods vehicle so many vans when you're going to get them weighed will need to be under three and a half tons so check that plate also thing to consider is to be able to drive a vehicle of this weight you need to have a c1 license so uh, many people if they got their driving license before 1997 will have granddad rights and have that on there already i had to do an extra license my C1 license or higher to be able to drive this. So it's just something to bear in mind. There's lots of good reasons why you should be trying to keep your van as lightweight as possible. So a lighter van puts less wear and tear on all of the components, the engine, your brakes, clutch, everything. Less wear and tear, which is great. Also you use less fuel, which is also very good. Uh, for obvious reasons. We bought a bigger van because we wanted to basically build something like we have. One kind of last reason is the legality of going over weight in a vehicle. If you get caught on a weight bridge, your vehicle can be like confiscated or they could make you lighten the load before you can uh, take it back, which might, you know, at the very least mean a huge inconvenience. At worst could mean a fine and but very worst if you cause an accident or something really went wrong your insurance could be void and you could be facing some legal issues so you want to be keeping it under the correct weight for that reason too there's plenty of places in our bus where we did try to save weight so on the roof we made our roof rack as light as it could be we didn't want more weight on the roof than a it says in the actual manual because they all have a limit and b it would be top heavy and there's a couple of other places in here that actually we could have saved more weight that we'll go over later that might help you out in your van build first of all we need to figure out how to go and find a weigh bridge and actually how one works Hello. <laughs> one thing to point out is that our bus has twin tanks again taking another 180 litres of fuel so we filled up at the nearest petrol station. I don't know if that works anyway, so. No, we we put the fuel in, but the gauge is just not very good. Cal, what do you think a weigh bridge looks like? I just think it's a piece of metal in the ground and you drive on it. Oh. 
Okay. I thought you'd be more imaginative than that. <laughs> is think, that not what it is? I don't know. I should know because I used to work for Cita, but I've never seen one. Hmm. Well, we'll go find out. The only problem is we don't have anywhere to store coffee and stuff when we're driving. So, oh, it always gets stuck holding Richard's coffee when he's driving the bus. It's just really cool. I don't even drink coffee. I feel like I was kind of right. It's like a little ramp that's there. Uh... Where do you see the weight then? Do you have to go in? I don't know. I'm glad we changed the water type. Yeah. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> kilos so we've got 290 kilos in payload that could go in here obviously we've got Lily to go in here she's not very heavy so not too bad look at how we get home. We'll work it out probably when we get home we'll show you a bit more <laughs> don't tell Lily but we went to get the bus weighed and then we snuck away to the seafront and that's we thought we'd do a little bit of filming didn't we we're coming in at 5,700 with us two in it. So plus Lily, we've still got a couple of hundred kilos of payload, which is good news. You can see earlier that we've got stuff in here. We've we got all the water and all fuel. All the water, diesel. We've got all of our stuff that we would take away with us, apart from food and clothes. Got some food, but not a lot. Yeah, got all of our staples and stuff still in mm. here, haven't we? But not the milk and bread and all of that stuff that you need. So we, we've got payload. We're just trying to figure out like how all of these other Instagram vans are actually um, underweight because we're not sure that they could be. <laughs> Doing little flippy fibs. <laughs> but um, we are. At the moment. Yeah. At the moment, which is good. So we, we, we're we, know we, to be. we know what we've got to play with when we pack up or if we were to build anything else, we'd likely have to be saving weight somewhere else yeah so we could do that a lot of the time as well our water tank won't be fully full like no. it is now as well so it's that to bear in mind isn't it well, the diesel tank won't be yeah. fully full it's really funny because we're here on the seafront and there's people walking by their dogs and they're like why are those people recording inside their bus we have a camera on that <laughs> <laughs> <They're> like <laughs> yeah you making, get it a lot it makes me laugh <laughs> Some of the heaviest things that we've got in here where we could save weight like quite quickly. So one places we've already done is with the water tank. So we've downsized the water tank. It's still a big water tank um, and saved weight there. So one litre of water is one kilo in weight. It's just like quite easy to remember. So just bear that in mind. Another place, uh, but it's, it's all in the money, is where our batteries are. So our, we've got four... Um, 170 amp AGM batteries and I think they weigh about 170 kilos in combo if we'd gone for lithium if our budget would have stretched for that that would have been about 35 kilos so we would have saved 135 kilos there almost immediately um, we've got the payload to carry it but you know yeah. it might be something that in the future also cupboard doors you could do hessian on them instead of them being a whole door yeah we've got solid door. doors up there that would save you a few kilos you could just choose lighter materials so our carcasses they are all made of poplar but the doors are made of birch because we wanted them to look like that. But you know, if we, if we wanted to save weight, we could have made them all of poplar. So yeah, there's a few things that we want to do in here still. Um, and we're gonna have to be smart really of yeah. where we can use that weight. In this bit here, we're gonna carpet it all. We not weigh that Sound dead and as well, carpet. Sound dead and carpet. And then put a little storage unit in here. Nothing too heavy or hefty, but we're gonna wanna make sure that it's lightweight. Same goes for the bumper that we want to put on the back. And we want to actually hang a wheel on the back door. So we're going to have to think where we can save a bit more weight. There's lots of ways that you can um, find a way bridge. So farmers, things like that, they might have one. But if you want a publicly available one, if you just go on the government website, I'll put the link down below, you can find ones local to you. And then ours was just totally free. If we wanted a ticket printed off, they charge 12 quid for that. But as you saw, we like drove on, stopped. Yeah. 
drove off left and that's totally free but it's easy easy to find one and it's well worth doing it would recommend kind of doing it before you start your build if you've not got it on your plate of how much it weighs empty because then you know and you can be turtling up as you go and it's not going to be a surprise at the end you've got your wiggle room haven't you then yeah exactly you've got wiggle room you're not going to be surprised at the end you're like oh i'm gonna to have to take that out i'm gonna to have to take that out so that concludes our little weighing adventure hope you've enjoyed today's video leave us a comment down below and do subscribe for more wonderbus adventures